Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. There is a new elimination method as well as some new elimination items that we can use to eliminate our rivals. If you guys cool, thank down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Okay, so you know how we could go on the roof and we can drop a bucket of weights onto somebody's head top and just crush them instantly and nobody would know that it was us because I don't think that you can have fingerprints on the freaking one-eyed monster always pushing me, man. It's always like we're in sync. That happens to me all the time whenever I'm trying to go up the stairs. But yeah, you guys remember that, right? You have a bucket and you just drop it on somebody's head and it just doinks them and just kills them instantly. Now we don't even need the bucket because it kind of just doesn't make sense to fill up a bucket anymore with weights and drop it on somebody. Now we can actually just drop a whole freaking air unit on somebody. So we can get Osana for your mama all the way right there, right in that little spot right there. But we need a pipe wrench and this school is just a freaking death trap. Like they need to put more upgrades in the school because so many damn things in this school could be used to kill somebody. And I Yano, she's been in school for like eight years now. And by the way, everybody, I personally don't give a double doggy style damn about this, but I know a lot of people do. There's different audio for different surface area that you're running on. So right now, you can listen to this. It's different than when you run on this. The attention to detail is actually really impressive. It doesn't matter. It could have sounded like me walking on banana peels the entire time and it wouldn't ruin the experience for me. But I know for a lot of people that's a big deal. So just so you know, there's new like audio depending on what surface you're running on. But anyway, I'm just going to drop this air unit on nothing because I don't have a guinea pig that's going to stand right under here. I just want to see what it looks like. I just want to see the little animation. And there you go. Ayano clearly is going to um, trade school classes. <laughs> And that's how it's done. But anyway, no more of the bull, everybody. It's straight to business from here on out. I want to speak with you about... What was it again? I think I need to figure out her freaking hobbies. Okay, hold on. You know what I just realized, everybody? How is she having this private conversation? But she is screaming her ass off. Like, anybody just, like, in the bathroom okay, taking a Taco bell size oh, shit please. could hear her from the bathroom. Like, she's not being secret at all. Look. I'm hiding behind these stupid ass tables and I can hear everything going on and she's completely oblivious to everything going on. So I want to speak to you about what? Wait a minute. Am I just completely stupid? Don't answer that, by the way. Or did I just completely forget how to send her a note to get her to meet me somewhere? I don't understand. I thought eavesdropping her phone call was a way to learn some new info to get her to meet me on the rooftop or whatever. That doesn't make any sense. You know what? Let me try this, everybody. I'm standing directly under the AC unit. So we're just going to drop this little knifey right here. Some nosy ass student is going to notice this. Try to pick it up. And as soon as they pick it up, bada bing, bada boom, they're about to get cooled off real quick. Let me talk to this fuck boy right over here. I'm going to ask you to follow me, please. He looks like somebody that just woke up and they're 10 minutes before school starts. So they have to get here really quick. I'm surprised he's not wearing pajamas because I think that's the new wave. Just like wearing pajamas everywhere. But look at that. Look at that. He said, huh? What is that? You're about to figure it out real quick. Hold on. I should tell a teacher. Wait, 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 wait. This little bitch boy is going to go get a teacher. Maybe I can drop the AC unit on the teacher. So that's actually a step up from what I was thinking. She said, huh? What is that? Oh, you know what that is. You know what that is. You know what time it is. Come on now. Come on now. We dropped it on her. And it didn't get anybody. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, bro. She broke her ankle on it. It didn't even land on her. She tripped on it and died. That is the saddest death I've ever seen. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Karen Hanabusa. She definitely looked like a Karen, for sure. -sies. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question all students in the school, including Ayano. We all know this. They go away. She stalks senpai. This dude is smiling from ear to ear. That must have been his least favorite teacher. Oh, by the way, there's also these new part-time jobs that we can take. It's a hospital janitor, a lab assistant, a translator, a cargo loader, a tutor, a hostess, a mortuary assistant. I don't know how Ayano is going to do a tutor and a translator job. I swear, she never talks. Like, she never talks to anybody, and all of a sudden, she's going to be some tutor. And if you think that we are going to go to any of these places and play some kind of mini game like mortuary assistant i have bad news for you i hope that she's somebody who will just randomly pick it up instead of oh my goodness are you gonna pick it up she's gonna pick it up she's gonna pick it up go 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 i don't want to fast forward time because as soon as she picks it up it's actually gonna make her walk <laughs>